I'm in a new space. The long and the short of it is my old shop was behind the house and this one is going to be in the garage. It's going to give me a little more room, but it's going to take a little while to move in. So this is what I'm set up like for now. <laughs> It'll get better as the weeks move on. So it's been about a year since I've made an HDPE video. It was this mallet from a milk jug. And as you can see, it has been well used over the last year. A viewer to the show actually sent me a box of HDPE and a lot of it was actually processed. <laughs> in the move, I have buried it somewhere in the shop. So thank you very much for the box and you will see it in future episodes if I manage to uncover it. But I do have some leftover from the mallet build, which is kind of nice that I don't have to cut it all up again. There is a strange addition to my garage shop that probably most do not have. It's an oven. When we bought the house, the realtor told us that the original couple didn't like the smell of bacon in the house, so they installed an oven out in the garage. Anyone who doesn't like the smell of bacon, I don't understand you. Let's get cooking. The temperature you want is 325 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes a little while longer to melt it, but you don't have to worry about all the nasty fumes. When I originally did the video on how to process it, I used my Vitamix blender, um, which worked really well, but it's probably not the best use for a $400 blender. Since then, I've just been rough cutting it with a razor knife, and that works really well. And my brand new appliance bulb just went out. In there 30 minutes or so, getting pretty translucent. Gonna take another 30 minutes, check back in on it. So whenever you make a table saw sled, one of the tricky parts is the runners, like this one, for instance. When I made it, they worked very well. They were very smooth, but wood tends to expand and contract. And oak was probably not the best choice as it has a fairly large expansion rate. And wouldn't it be nice if we had a material that didn't expand and contract and that actually was super slick? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if we have anything like that around the shop. Um, let's talk about my process. I'm going to use the table saw slot as the actual mold. And all I'm going to do is use a clamp and push it in like this. Uh, so this board needs to fit into the slot. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Fresh out of the oven, HDPE, just like grandma used to make. All right, so you can see it's at a gelatin-like stage. Hopefully that is enough for the next step. Drat. Guessing it's not quite soft enough yet. Back in the oven. All right, here we go. Got to move fast. Freaking hot. Burning my fingers like crazy. Whew. Okay. That was fun. Anybody else had fun? I had fun. Look at that. It's only been a couple minutes and it's already starting to solidify. Okay, it has maybe been 10 minutes since this has come out of the oven. And it is definitely hardening up. You can still see that there is some jelliness to the under bits, but it's, uh, it's, it's already getting pretty hard again. So I want to keep doing some more stuff. I've got this out and processing, so I want to keep doing some more HDPE. So I'm going to sprinkle in some color. Old laundry detergent containers and French's mustard. I'm going to put that back in the oven and let it melt down. All right, let's see how we did. Well, it um, runs really well in the slot. Doesn't have any play side to side, but um, 
It's a little lumpy. I wonder if we can clean that up at all. Honestly, that's a good runner. It's flat, it's super slick, there's zero play side to side. As you can see, there was a bit of an issue with thickness here, but I mean, it's, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's not gonna expand or contract as time goes on. So yeah, can you make a table saw sled runner out of milk bottles? Totally.